at the Edible Garden Show. We're just deciding where we want to head first. So that's just going to knead nicely there. We're just sampling some rapeseed oil. There are lots to choose from. Trevor's already in them. We came straight away to watch the James Wong talk, which was what we wanted to see, but we did stop and buy some oil before we got here. This is from Stainswick Farm. We sampled lots of them and went for the lime, chilli and coriander. We were trying to see what happens and you know, how much cholesterol is lowered and how much the incidence of heart disease is lowered when you feed people out. Time for a quick lunch break. We did bring a packed lunch today, so we've got sweet potatoes and chicken. I feel like there are a lot more places here this year selling food, so things outside of the plant zone. There's a lot of um, places to eat and breads and oils, pastries, that kind of thing, which is a nice change. It's good. into the second hall now and there's lots of sleeping pigs things are looking a bit more lively over here and there's a talk going on here about keeping poultry and we've got urban herbs which are one of our favorite for unusual herb varieties and then again here there's a lot more um, shops and things for the garden I think we're heading into the zone now where there are more plants to get, which is quite interesting because that's what we would like to pick up today. We still haven't got asparagus and I'm also keen on sweet potatoes but I know they're not such a common thing to grow in the UK but we'll see what we can find. There's lots of people still getting their seeds. This looks like what we're looking for. Houses are covered in bubble wrap. I wonder if that's something that I could do instead of getting the polycarbonate. So we've made it to the potting shed now, and I think this is where we're going to find some of the other YouTubers. So the Here We Grow UK guys are behind me, and I'm coming up to the Hot Channel stand. So what's going on over here? The Hot Channel guys are really popular, but I did get a selfie, which I'll pop in for you. And um, we're going to catch another talk now before we head home, I think, because. Um, I'm really inspired to get into the garden and it's a nice day and I might get a couple of hours in this afternoon. This is called a red currant tomato. Chili Bob's is the best name for a chili plant stall ever. Now I like boards and I like them for one reason. One, contrary to popular belief, they're easy to clean. Since we bought a packed lunch we decided that we were going to have some pastries. So I've got this custard cherry number and Trevor went for carrot cake. We're heading home now guys, we've had a lovely day. It's nice and sunny. I did buy one more thing which was some plugs from Rob Smith and it was his um, current tomatoes. So he was talking about the current tomatoes and James Wong was talking about how smaller tomatoes are better because they've got more skin on them. So that was a uh, that was a really interesting one, so we decided to buy those as well. The only thing I would say is I feel like the show's become a little bit too commercial. There was people there selling shower heads, and I really don't see what that's got to do with edible gardening. Um, maybe it's not too commercial just yet, but it's in danger of becoming that way, I think. It, they need to really focus in on the edible garden part of it. But one complaint I think people have had previously is there wasn't enough things to buy. So. It, it's, it's getting the balance right I think but definitely a good show and it's on all weekend if you get a chance to come back and check it out and I'll see you on Tuesday for a allotment update <laughs> thanks for watching guys bye bye <laughs>